Hey guys, it's Jen Coyle with HelloBrio.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to mix ink with watercolor. I'm going to be using the Pentel Aquash water brushes. These are both filled with ink, and I'm going to be using just a plain one filled with water to pull some color from my watercolor palette into my mixing palette. You want to make sure to use a separate mixing palette for this tutorial or when you're trying to achieve this look, simply because you don't want to get your watercolor palette filled with ink. The ink that I'm using for this tutorial is the Higgins Eternal Black Ink. This isn't the most saturated black ink in the world, and I think that actually helps when looking to achieve this effect, simply because it helps the watercolor shine through. So I just have them filled with these. This is the medium tip, and this is the broad tip. So let's go ahead and choose some colors here from our watercolor palette. I'm just going to take my plain watercolor brush here and choose a color. I guess I'll go with pink. That I know that tends to work really well. So I'm just going to drop a few uh, drops of water in here to pick up some of the color and bring it over into my palette. I'm going to just push it over here. I want it to be really nice and saturated. And then also pull up some of this purple. Okay, so I can put my watercolor palette aside and now I just have this palette that I'm working with here. So let's see, I guess I'll use my medium water brush. So let me show you what the ink looks like without watercolor. So you see it's not super saturated, it has a nice kind of transparent look. So when we go to mix it with watercolor, some of that watercolor pigment will shine through. So all you have to do is take your brush and just kind of dip it in the watercolor so you see you have it on the tip, and then go ahead and start writing. The first couple strokes will be really saturated with watercolor, and then it'll slowly fade back into ink. The more you dip it into the watercolor, the more of the watercolor will shine through. So that's really it for this tutorial. Make sure to check out my blog for more examples of how this effect looks. To learn more about brush lettering, make sure to stop by my blog for a free chapter of my book, Getting Started with Brush Lettering. So thanks for watching, hit like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!